legendary motoring icons compare to ordinary modern machines. Although I do feel as if I'm being a bit rough with it. Do these classic performance cars still deserve their lofty status? Or have we reached a point where even bog-standard modern cars are both faster and more fun? The iconic Mark I Golf GTI was trounced in an auto test by a new diesel Golf. Fantastic, Jay Turner. But the brawny E55 AMG clawed back a victory for the icons. I tell you what, that was close. Now we're going to test old school reputation on the track. This is the Audi Quattro. The first coupe with permanent four wheel drive, featuring a hairy chested 220 horsepower five cylinder turbocharged engine. It still makes rally fans go weak at the knees. But how does it compare to a bog standard version of Audi's 21st century coupe, the A5? Well, let's find out. <laughs> The Quattro story began in 1977 when an Audi engineer was so impressed by the advanced four-wheel drive system of a Volkswagen military truck that he transferred it into a prototype road car. By 1980, it had evolved to become the brand new Quattro. But 34 years have passed since the Quattro was born. So can this diesel front-wheel drive A5 get around the track quicker? We're going to pit them head-to-head -head over a two-lap race to find out. We reckon it's going to be very, very close. Right, so we've got a bit of a race between me and Tiff. What's going to go on? Oh, look at that four-wheel drive. He's off the line. I've got an extra 45 horsepower. I'm 250 kilograms lighter. Uh, this is one challenge the icon's not going to lose. I've left him behind already. I'm not so sure about the brakes. Oh, he's gone in a bit late then, actually. It rolls a lot. I can't believe how soft this is. It's so light. Yeah, yeah. And sideways. The old Quattro has some distinct advantages over the A5. As well as being lighter and more powerful, its four-wheel drive system can split torque front to rear depending on where the grip is. Oh, I think we can dive on him here. Oh, you fighter. <laughs> Just block him on the way out. Gosh, think. Where did he come from? Oh, he's got a bit more traction than me. <laughs> I'm working hard. Oh, he's got the lead at the end of the lap. The Quattro has better balance and traction, but the A5 actually has more mid-corner grip. One lap to go. Is he catching? He is he's catching a little bit round the quick. But we're gaining on him now. Gaining, 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 gaining. Flat, I'm not lifting. He's having a look. I'm going to defend him. <laughs> he's, he's blocking. I'll have to do it on the outside. Oh, oh. There's no way that's working, Mr Nidell. Not going to quite make the corner, Tiff. I have to block there. He's a bit quicker. <laughs> he's blocking like mad. So I've got the acceleration, but he's got the brakes. He's definitely got better traction off the corners. Oh. It's not so much that the A5 is keeping pace with the old cars that's surprising, but the fact it does it so easily. The modern driving dynamics of the A5 mean that I'm hardly breaking a sweat. Meanwhile, Tiff is quite literally having to wrestle the Quattro around the track. Come on, old girl, we can't let the icon down. We can't let a diesel executive saloon beat us. <laughs> oh, I broke. I've gone in too late. He's blocked too much this time, he's blocked too much this time, didn't <laughs> Quattro, Quattro, grip me, grip me, grip, accelerate. Now we've got a clear straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the swipe. Just the fifth path to go. He was quicker here, but as long as I'm in the lead, as long as we hit the straight first, 
There's no way he's going to beat this icon. No, he's gone. Amazing result, actually, because I remember that Quattro being a fire-breathing monster. And that's pretty close. Well done, Audi Quattro. You've saved the day for the icons. So, the original Audi Quattro wins our race around the track, and the result gives a two-to-one victory to our iconic cars. The newbies may be...